speed. Speed is related to moving objects since the position changes with time. It is also reference to a stationary object. In a stationary object, position remains same with time. Take an example wherein we have a reference point where there is a tree which is on the O and the car is traveling from that position to a position B. O to B the distance is 20 km and there is a position in the middle A which is at 10 km from O. Now let us see when the car travels from O to B it is starting at 9 am and reaches A at 9 5 am and reaches B at 9 10 am. Basically what we can infer from this example is when the car starts from O at 9 am when it reaches B at 9.10, it covered 20 kilometers in 10 minutes. And to reach A, it covered 10 kilometers in 5 minutes. So this, the moving object is depending on two factors, the distance and the time. Hence, we can define speed as a relationship between the distance traveled and the time taken to cover the distance. Hence we can define the speed as distance traveled by an object in unit time is speed. Speed is generally denoted by the letter V. It can be written as Total distance traveled divided by total time taken. For example, in this, the total distance traveled by the car from A to B is 20 km by 10 minutes. So, which will be 20 km by 10 into 1 by 60 hours which is 20 into 60 by 10 which will become 120 kilometer per hour. The units of speed are kilometer per hour which is given as kilometer hour minus 1 or meter per second which is given as meter second minus 1. Let us see some examples on speed. Example 1. It takes 5 hours to drive a city 200 kilometers away. Then the average speed is total distance traveled by total time taken which is 200 by 5 which is 40 km per hour. The example 2. An object travels 16 meters in 4 seconds then another 16 meters in 2 seconds. So what is the average speed? Total distance traveled which is 16 meters plus 16 meters by total time taken 4 plus 2 seconds which becomes 32 meter by 6 seconds which is 5.3 3 meter per second. Let us see another example. If we average at 30 km per hour in 4 hour, we travel a distance of. The speed is equal to distance by time. Hence, the distance is equal to V into time which is 
the speed here is 30 km per hour and time is 4 hour so which will become 120 km so the distance traveled is 120 km hence you can see the formula for speed v is equal to distance by time which is also represented as s by t so v is equal to s by t and s is equal to v into t and t is equal to s by v so if the speed is unknown and distance and times are known we can calculate speed using this and if speed and time are known distance can be calculated if speed and distance are known we can calculate the time that it takes to travel so all these three formulas are used extensively in our speed and motion problems